Hi everyone and welcome to another model railway review from Class 47 PSA and in today's video we're going to be having a look at some rolling stock and I'm going to be taking a look at the Gage Master Trap Cleaning Wagon made by Pico. So sit back relax and enjoy this video. So here we have the Pico track cleaning wagon produced exclusively for Gage Master. Now I wasn't planning to get this particular one originally if I'm honest because I was originally going to plan to wait to see if they would bring these out in a different livery. But I do quite like the network rail livery, it is a striking livery especially on the rolling stock and so I thought I'd buy it and I, I could do with a track cleaning wagon to clean the tracks. I do have a track cleaning rubber but there's certain areas on the layout where I find it difficult to reach with the track rubber. So the track cleaning wagon will be a rescue. So we do have some paperwork. First of all we have this leaflet of all the products made by Pico. I'll put that to one side and then we have the diagram an instruction manual so it tells you how to exchange the cleaning pad and it also shows you the spare parts that you can buy and it tells you on the back how to buy the spare parts so it is quite a nice thing that they've put this in so if for example a part is damaged you can just buy that replacement part or if for example the cleaning pad needs to be replaced then you can just buy one so it's nice of them to do that. Now the packaging itself the lid is sellotaped on so I'll just remove this bit of sellotape Then we move off the window on the front and we'll carefully lift out the wagon and then we'll put the package in to one side. So with the wagon out of the box the first thing I will talk about is the weight. This is a very heavy wagon but then it needs to be because the weight is all there in order to push down onto the tracks so the track cleaning pad can clean the tracks because otherwise if this doesn't have any weight then it's going to be useless then and then it won't be cleaning the track. Now the wagon itself is actually in HO gauge so it is smaller than double O. For me that's not a problem because the track cleaning wagon is not going to be used all the time it's only really going to be used for when the track's dirty so for me I'm not really fussed about the size that's not really a problem. Now how this cleans the track is that underneath the wagon it has a track cleaning pad which hasn't been used yet and the pad itself is actually a track rubber we do have some detail on the wagon although alas it's just printed onto the sides but from a distance the printed detail actually does look really good the printing however is very crisp and it is nicely done I think and the lift replication on the wagon is superb, it's a very nice even coat of paint with no errors in the paintwork anywhere at all whatsoever and especially even the way how they've printed the logo onto the sides there I mean that does have a nice feel that to it, that does however not all the detail on this wagon is printed on we do have some very nice moulded detail on the front here especially the rivet detail which does look really nice we do have some slim tension lock couplings and they are NEM as well as you can see there, there are the NEM sockets for them to clip into place and we also have metal wheels as well which is good 
and we do have plastic buffers as well which they can be removed if you want to remove them. So the Class 37 has the honour of being the first locomotive to pull the trap cleaning wagon round the layout. This is a very heavy wagon so you do need a heavy locomotive to pull this but the Class 37 is strong enough to pull it. The wagon runs very smoothly it goes over the points there with no issues at all whatsoever. The local has slowed down there a bit, but then that just shows that the tracks do need a clean. So what I'm going to do, we have stored there, but again that just shows you that the tracks do need a clean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this for an hour or so, so that the tracks are thoroughly cleaned. Because then that way we leave it for a long period of time and the tracks will be cleaned. So I'll leave the class 37 and the track cleaning wagon to it. Okay, so we've been running close to an hour now. So I'm just going to bring the class 37 to a stop. And so we'll just see how much dirt that the track rubber has picked up. Look at that. That's picked up a lot of dirt, that has. So that is excellent. And also considering that to be start with in the video, you saw that the Class A7 was a bit jerky. And also it stalled as well at one point. It runs beautifully now. And of course I can get this run going for longer to get even more dirt off the track, which I shall do. So for the £30 retail price that this goes for I think that's great value for money I mean this track cleaning wagon is a stunning bit of kit it really is so I highly recommend that you get this wagon you know it is well worth the money you do get your money's worth as well especially because it does the job that it's supposed to do and also I shall be doing a comparison video with this wagon the knock track cleaning pads and the Hornby track cleaning wagon so they'll be going head to head in the video so that's something to keep your eyes out for but anyway that's all we have time for today in this video thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed it do look out for the next videos subscribe to the channel feel free to post a comment and hit the like button and I'll see you next time take care <laughs>